friends and welcome back to another session of has lecture series uh, now today i'll be discussing about uh, a few more components uh, related to adverse drug reactions uh, the first of that would be uh, the phototoxic reactions okay so drug or the metabolites a uh, few drugs get accumulated in the skin and, and on exposure to uh, light uh, these can cause a lot of problems to the skin in the form of eruptions, uh, rashes, uh, blisters, erythema, redness, so on. So these are kind of phototoxic reactions. The best example of that would be drugs like democycline, it's kind of a tetracycline which can cause these reactions, phototoxic reactions. The next in the line is photoallergic reactions. Now remember photo and allergy. So light which is related to allergy so something on these lines so these are again skin reactions i should say in which the exposure uh, of light gives rise to uh, activation of immunity which causes problems to the skin so again in the form of rashes blistering erythema or even serious cases of uh, skin problems can arise due to photoallergic reactions the best examples of that would be sulfur drugs um, or oral hypoglycemic drugs. There is a group called as sulfonylureas which we usually prescribe for um, diabetic induced type 2 diabetes. Anyway, not going into that right now can cause uh, photoallergic reactions. Okay, So these are two components as far as phototoxicity and photoallergic circle, the photoallergic reactions are concerned uh, and light is concerned as far as adverse drug reactions um, go in medicine. The next in the line is withdrawal reactions. Okay? Mm -hmm. If a patient is taking a drug for a very long period of time and you suddenly cut off the drug, okay? today the per till now the person was taking the drug, last two years the patient was on any specific drug and suddenly you stop the drug, it is detrimental to the functions of the body okay? because body's functions also get tuned in line with the <clears throat> drug the patient is taking. So a few examples for that would be uh, I should say <coughs> precipitation of epilepsy if you stop any anti-epileptic drug abruptly okay the person might collapse if a person is taking steroids for a very long time especially if you put the patient in stress and if you stop the steroids suddenly he was taking steroids for a very long time then the patient can uh, uh, just collapse due to lack of uh, steroids and suppression of the HPA axis that is hypothalamus pituitary axis so uh, again precipitation of angina if you are stopping the patients abruptly with beta blockers or any other drug so these are the things okay so we are not here to just stop the drug suddenly we should be tapering the dose of a drug over a period of time before stopping it so not even i should say you should suddenly change the drugs from one thing to other okay because that's good as stopping the first drug okay if the same class then okay but if the other class then maybe there is a problem so try to taper the dose of a drug over a period of time because that will give the patient some time, the body some time to get adjusted uh, and uh, then go on to the new drug or you want to stop the drug, that's the best way. So these are kind of withdrawal reactions that one should be aware of uh, when you prescribe drugs, especially when you want to end a treatment, these all things or you want to change the treatment, these all things uh, do matter. But steroids, beta blockers, Usually keep it in mind anti-epileptics because these are most commonly prescribed medications where you need to be aware that just stopping abruptly can cause a lot of problems. Now if withdrawal reactions is done, then the next thing on the list is uh, about dependence. Okay? So as you know, all kinds of narcotic drugs uh, cause dependence, okay? uh, a feel good factor kind of a thing if the patient is taking the drug. So there are two kinds of dependence actually. The first one is what we call psychological dependence, okay, something which relates to the mind. So the optimum feeling of well-being is only achieved by the belief that the patient is okay by taking the drug. So the patient believes here that he can be alright only if he takes a drug. So it's a belief. Okay? It's nothing to do with the body, it's all to do with the mind. But that what it causes and then what causes is what's drug seeing behavior so the patient will always try to look and hunt for drug so that you know he, he keeps on getting the drug for a longer period of time because he believes that only by taking the drug everything is going to be normal so some kind of uh, psychological issue psychological dependence i should say uh, with drugs 
the next in the line with uh, drug dependency is the physical dependence okay because as i said to you uh, previously that right, like, like body gets tuned to taking drugs right okay so if a patient is taking drug for a very long period of time then the physiological process also gets tuned with that and you suddenly stop a drug the physiological processes just go down they are not able to work properly deterioration occurs and that gives rise to physical symptoms for a patient so that is then what we call it as the physical dependence okay so physical symptoms can be of a mild variety or if the patient is on a very high uh, high narcotic drug it can be of the most severe kinds so all kinds of physical problems pain abdominal pain cramps uh, fatigue restlessness tremors tachycardia breathlessness um, all other things okay relates to physical uh, problems associated by the use of drugs for a very long time so these are the what this is what we call then as the physical dependence so we have two things right we have seen as far as dependence is concerned one is the psychological dependence and the other is the physical uh, dependence uh, that can arise when the patient is taking any kind of a drug but it's generally not seen if you are taking a drug for a short period of time you need to take the drug for a long period of time and that to the drug should be of the potential that it can cause addiction so it should be a pleasure giving drug then only you see this kind of dependence uh, but anyway that that these are all uh, i should say adverse drug reactions related to drug so uh, you should be knowing about it right so this was my short take on um, uh, ideas uh, especially with the components that we have done today i hope you like this session thank you keep watching do subscribe to my channel